Hi, Topaz here, founder of The Skin Deep. You know, sometimes you just need the right questions to illuminate the connections you have with the people in your life. That's why we created the Yan Car Game, so you can play them at home. Visit theskindeep.com slash shop and enjoy. Thanks. What have I done that surprised you most this year? Well, I mean, uh, I think I'll use that as a, as a springboard to share the memory that I shared with you where um, I was going through your backpack to get uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I was getting. You asked me to get something for you. Sure, I did. <laughs> I, was, I was snooping around, seeing what I'd find. Oh, look, dirty diapers. Gosh, I knew it. Um, chicken. <laughs> but exa <laughs> that's exactly it. I remember go I was going through your backpack because you would ask me to get something. And I went through, and it was... Literally a ferret's nest. Oh, that's right. It was it dirty was, diapers. It was. It was no, but it wasn't dirty. It was like it was, a, a, it was a completely rotted banana. It was like, but not like it was like a month old. It wasn't like a week old. Semi ripened. It was. It was. It was ripened banana. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was things just completely stuffed in, and at the same time you were on the phone with uh, the insurance agent about the fire and I was listening to you and it was watching these two seemingly unable to exist at the same time realities mm. that were uh, part of the same woman and it gave me um, the most incredible sense of uh, joy and um, it was watching you just execute, execute, execute with a baby on your hip and, you know, with all the other things that you have on your plate, um, also being an incredible mother at the same time and um, just getting to watch you do both of those uh, side by side was a, was a real joy for me. Thank you. What is a memory? that you never want to forget from this past year? I think it was four weeks ago that we all got the flu. Mm. And you were on Naya and I was on Ray because he was inconsolable. And um, I remember just, you know, holding him in the middle of the night and it's, completely dark and we're just both burning so hot and all I wanted to do was just lie on my bed and sleep and I had this little baby who was completely dependent on me you know for his well-being and um, and so time and time again I got up out of that fucking bed and I just stood there and rocked him and held him because it was the only way he would sleep. And he would just keep crying and crying. And just kept singing to him, like literally all night long. <laughs> I'm here with you. I'm here. I love you. Mama loves you. Mama's here. And we just, you know, we got through night after night. And just that sweet moment of just feeling so fully this, it's like that. the depths of parental love and just feeling it, you know, feeling it so clearly in the middle of the night, night after night, while well, I'm burning up and he's burning up. It just, it felt so sweet. It just felt so sweet. Um, and it was so hard, but just feeling that love for our children. That's one of the things I want to remember. <sighs> Where is there room for growth in our relationship? 
in order to achieve growth, one must spend time on something. Yes. <laughs> and that's, and that for me is, uh, I was just saying to you before, mm. just how much I miss you. Yeah. I just miss you so much. I miss uh, you so much. And, uh, you know, that's something that I think we were really, <laughs> I mentioned this the other night when <laughs> we passed by each other in the bathroom <laughs> at 12.15 <laughs> a.m. <clears throat> and uh, it was the first chance I had gotten to really just um, get to take a moment and just be present with you. And I and I said that I missed you. And you know, the other part was the feeling of being back to back. Mm. I, I think this has been the hardest twelve months. Mm. You know, we've had in a decade. Really, you feel that way? We didn't sleep in the, I, we divided and conquered and I went and slept in a bed with Naya. Yeah. Right? We didn't even sleep yeah. in the same For bed. Five, five months? Five, six months, whatever it was, right? It was almost half a year. Yeah. You know, our relationship is uh, incredibly solid and requires maintenance. Mm -hmm. And when we don't give it that maintenance, it's, it's so easy for those little barriers of film to pop up and to slowly but surely have yeah, those this. Those thin layers of disconnection. Those thin layers of disconnection. But uh, it's, it's hard for me to hear you say this has been one of the, the hardest or most disconnecting years that, that since we've, 2010. we've ever had. Yeah, because I guess, you know, or, and it's eye-opening for me because mm. to some extent it's like, I just feel like it's, you know, we're on hold we're gonna get through this first fucking year, right. you know, but it doesn't, I don't feel like there's cracks in the ground. You know mm. what I mean? Like, I don't feel like you're going anywhere, I'm going anywhere, there's any possibility for that. Mm. At least, unless you're telling me differently. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's surprising for me to hear you say how distressing it's been, and it does offer some insight of, mm. you know, how hard it, how hard it is. Like, I know I've been largely, you know, um, I, I know, I know I've, it, what am I trying to say? I just, I know that this last year has been very hard, you know, and we haven't had the time for us. But are you expressing that you're concerned? No. Oh, okay. No, absolutely not. It's not that I feel concerned, it's that I feel disconnected. Yeah. You know, and I feel more disconnected um, for a longer period of time mm -hmm. than I have felt in a long time. I notice that too. When we do get in our spiffs, it does feel like it's easier yeah. and longer. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I feel like I we'll agree. stay disconnected. <sighs> we'll stay disconnected for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm you know, than I ever remember us being disconnected. And again, there are two kids and, you know, uh, yeah. all the things that go along with it, right? Mm -hmm. It's ongoing. Um, and, um, and that for me is just, I feel like our relationship is uh, the bedrock of my life. Yeah. Um, and to see those cracks form, I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> I, I know we'll spackle them up, um, yeah. but to feel those cracks form and think, mm -hmm. wow, we talk about um, things very vulnerably. There's nothing that we hide. Uh, everything is out in the open. And, um, you know, I hear about ta hearing other... And one thing I might need to tell you. <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, there is a plot at the community garden that is coming up. Like for a gravestone? <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked them if it was possible to have animals on it. <laughs> oh, that's f I'm taking care of chickens? I was going to get some chickens. <laughs> but not in our... Not in our house. Okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. You want someone else to take care of chickens, go for it. We would probably take care of them at the community garden. Look, 
if chickens die in a community garden, it's never to get off my back. I'm sorry. So I don't have to take care of them. If they're in my backyard, I have to take care of them. Okay. So that's fine. So you can... So that was just, if you saw a look of like, there's nothing we don't tell each other, that was like the thing. It's not was really. my big secret. You told a community garden that you wanted them to get chickens. That's, that's well, we technically, they would be our chickens. <laughs> Why not? Yours and Naya's. Okay, fine. That's fine. Um, but I just, with how honest and most of the time. Mostly um, honest. <laughs> but, you know, I, I... Yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. You know, yeah. so I just, uh, yeah, thanks for hearing me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 not, I don't, I feel like I got to say what I was going to say, which was, you know, my appreciation for parents that have kids. Yeah. Because it's hard. It's, it's really hard. hard. How have I grown the most in the last few years that I don't realize? Hmm. Hey, so if that video moved you, if you dug it, if you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so we can keep you updated about our weekly releases. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining.